Hello America, this is Call of Duty Goddess. Today is May the 5th, 2016. I'm at an article from Freedom Outpost titled, The Resist Rally Hundreds Flock to Idaho Capitol to Protest U.S. Government for Political Prisoners, dated May 4th, 2016. Citizens of Idaho and visitors from as far away as Texas gathered on the steps of the Capitol building in Boise, Idaho at noon on Saturday April 30th, 2016, to collectively voice growing dissatisfaction with what is rapidly becoming a crescendo of unlawful federal overreach in land disputes, unjust incarceration, suppression of constitutionally guaranteed rights, and in the case of Robert Lavoie Finicum, questionable use of lethal forced. Build the Resist Rally and organized by the 3% of Idaho, a couple of hundred citizens stood in breezy but otherwise pleasant weather with flags, banners, and signs for the purpose of continuing to bring light not only to the politically motivated imprisonment of four Idahoans but also of other defendants now numbered in the dozen spread across two cases. It took the federal government nearly 700 days to bring an indictment against 19 defendants in what is commonly known as the Bundy Ranch standoff. The U.S. attorneys, citing lack of preparedness to bring the case to trial by the original May 2016 date, have moved to classify the case as complex, meaning that each defendant will be tried in a single large trial sometime in early 2017. Despite waiting nearly two years to indict and apprehend the Idaho defendants, prosecutors for the U.S. attorneys still had not provided the defendants evidence due to them in discovery. Rally goers made it clear that they see this as a suppression of right to a speedy trial, guaranteed under the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution of the United States of America. Further aggravating protesters is the possibility of a complex trial depriving some of the defendants due process. A substantial portion of the case being prosecuted by the U.S. Attorney alleges a massive, multifaceted conspiracy by the defendants to answer a call to arms from Clive and Bundy to impede federal officers in the execution of a lawful court order. At least three of the Idaho residents who traveled to Nevada on the day the standoff ended have repeatedly insisted that they traveled there because of lawless, heavy-handed conduct exacted by the Bureau of Land Management upon protesters in the days prior. Additionally, they were present to protest the BLM's decision to cordon off First Amendment zones miles away from the Bundy Ranch, as if to imply that they possessed the jurisdiction to confine the expression of First Amendment rights to a small secluded area. They have repeatedly insisted that at no point did they engage in a conspiracy to threaten, assault, impede, or otherwise interfere with government agents lawfully executing district court orders. Brandon Curtis, president of the 3% of Idaho, indicated that efforts to reach Idaho state legislators and Governor C.L. Butch Otter had largely been unproductive. Few, if any, state or federal legislators have attempted to be actively involved in the proceedings or at least encouraged the U.S. District Court in Nevada to ensure that constitutional rights are being upheld. It seems as if once the hype of the actual event subsided, local, state, and federal government entities seem content to just accept the narrative released by the mainstream. Curtis said we need to make the change on the ballot. We need people right here to get on the ballot. Sitting back in the shadows isn't going to get it done anymore. We're not extremists. We're not anti-government. We love our government the way our Constitution is set up. Curtis also encouraged all liberty-minded patriot groups to set aside their differences and work to collectively raise voices that cannot be ignored. 
the implications of the convictions on any of these charges could set a very dangerous precedent going forward. Every elected official who took an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States should be gravely concerned with how these cases related to the Bundy Ranch and the Meyer Refuge are proceeding. There may be disagreement about various details of both incidents, but there should be no contention that the government is wrongfully using the vast long arm of codified law to bury these men in an avalanche of litigation for the purpose of intimidation and to secure a plea. Their denial of pretrial release, confinement in solitary, overall lack of relevant or substantial criminal history, and now a delay to suppress their right to a speedy trial, the combination of which constitutes an egregious misuse of the penal system and detention facilities. Delaying the trial is a go-to strategy whereby public interest wanes with the passing of time. This is the purpose of holding resist rallies that these men and the injustices heaped upon them might not be forgotten. A young woman stood in front of the crowd and sang Freedom's Cry written by Robert Lavoy Finnicum's daughter. Save the noise of the wind, a pin drop could have been heard. Liberty-minded patriot groups and individuals alike are encouraged to lawfully, peacefully protest the continued detention of political prisoners in high visibility areas every last Saturday of every month until they are released or exonerated. All of them. Idaho has several citizens unjustly detained for a litany of embellished crimes. Their right to a speedy trial and due process under the Fifth and Sixth Amendments is being compromised. Meanwhile, their families struggle to stay afloat and provide adequate legal representation. Please consider helping the families of the unjustly incarcerated. Eric and Andrea Parker, Chelsea Hamill, daughter of O. Scott Drexler, Lynn Stewart for Stephen Stewart. And I'll of course leave the links below. I am now at Stand By Me for Liberty at the Stand By Me rallies page. I'll leave the link for this as well. Interactive rally page. You can look at the rallies here where you can meet and get to know some like-minded people. This is Call of Duty Goddess signing off, and as always, I've got your six.